both Charlie and Brian. So Char Charlie's there under my name, but that's that's the way it should be. And <laughs> Brian from the tanks there. We'll just go through probably 25 minutes, half an hour, just go through the highlights from Dot Next. And then we've got Claire actually at the um, OCD or OC distilleries in, in Sydney. We're going to go through and just make up make up a couple of drinks and just sort of, just sort of have a chat. So light and breezy. If you've got any questions, uh, I know a lot of people are on mute, but definitely um, definitely uh, put your hand up, ask a question. We want to keep it interactive. We're going to record this first part and just for the for the people who can't make it. Okay, so um, Claire, if you can press record, and then we'll kick off, Charlie. Yep, sweet. Yeah. Uh, look, as Dan said, totally interactive. Um, just uh, just jump on in. Let's uh, let's have a chat if you've got any questions. Uh, so, you know, this is our second H Expert meetup. Uh, last time, uh, our inaugural one, we uh, we kicked off with some some Lego, and uh, this time we've moved on to some alcohol. So I think I think things are moving in the right direction, which is good. Uh, but look, thanks very much for for joining us. Um, look, obviously the, the the focus of today really is to. Um, do a little bit of a wrap up of .dot next. Um, you know, had a, a two slash three day event uh, from Nutanix last week. Uh, I hope you, most of you guys were able to uh, at least catch some of the sessions. Um, I know it's tricky to to kind of see everything when uh, when there's so much going on and you've got your, your jobs to do and you're not really you know you're kind of at your desk. It's it's easy to get distracted. So you know, hopefully today uh, we can give you guys a, a little bit of a rundown as to kind of some of the main themes. Uh, some of the more important announcements that, uh, that came out of .next, um, and we can kind of open up the discussion from there. Um, so a little bit of what we're going to go through today. So uh, just touching on the HExpert program, we're up to what we've been doing, uh, some updates from Nutanix, um, and then Brian and I will jump into the, the .next wrap up, um, and then we'll get to the good stuff. We'll do some, uh, do some cocktail making and uh, you know, open discussion, which to be honest, you know, just keep it open the whole time. All right, so uh, look, you can catch us on Twitter. Um, you know, we've got, a, we've got some pretty funny social media um, uh, um, managers here that, that look after our, uh, our Twitter community. So, uh, you know, we like, to, we like to have the lion as our logo and, uh, and this one kind of popped up. So a couple of lions, lions at the beach, um, you know, we thought it was pretty funny. Maybe it's just an inside joke, I guess you have to be there, but uh, uh, there we go. It's kind of the stuff we're doing. So make sure you're following us on Twitter. Um, as you know, right, we've got our YouTube channel uh, so uh, a few weeks ago, Dan and I uh, filmed a whole series of uh, videos to help you guys out, right? So there's educational, there's enablement, uh, there's interviews, uh, there's all sorts of different stuff. And we're releasing those videos, um, you know, on a weekly basis over time. Um, obviously, we're publishing them into the Teams channel, uh, but they all sit on YouTube, right? So uh, the second episode is now live. So I encourage you guys all to, to go, and, go and check that out. Um, obviously, we've got our H expert on Twitter. Uh, you know, Nathan, um, I saw you you put some stuff on Twitter. Um, you know, really good if you guys are engaging with us. Make sure you're using the hashtags um, H expert and, and Think Expert. Um, and then in Teams, right? Te teams is um, I know it can be a challenge for all of you guys because you know the way that it works. You know, if you're using Teams within your organization, um, you know, you need to jump between organizations to be able to engage on our teams. So. You know, we recognize that as being a, a little bit of a challenge. Um, you know, as Dan has said before, uh, if you want, you can open up the HExpert Teams channel in a browser uh, while you've still got your, your native Teams app um, in, your, um, in your org. Um, but look, there's been lots of chat, lots of activity going on there. Uh, we've started up our drop-in cafe on Thursday mornings. So, uh, you know, we've just got an open meeting for about half an hour. Um, we're just gonna be sitting there doing work, having a chat. If you've got any questions, uh, just come and join us, say good day, have a coffee with us, um, you know, super casual, whatever you want to do. Um, and we also did, so yesterday we did a, uh, a webinar uh, where we had um, uh, Tim Carmen from, uh, from TDL on there. Uh, there's been some kind of follow-up questions and engagements, uh, you know, recordings, all that kind of stuff is going in there. So, um, you know, keep an eye on the team. Um, there's lots of activity and, and obviously encourage you guys to, uh, to have a chat and, uh, and engage with us. Um, so just a couple of things on the Nutanix side. Uh, so next week, Nutanix have got their own user group. Uh, so the Sydney chapter user group on Thursday, the 24th of September. Uh, so you can search that um, and uh, feel free to register for that. Uh, Tim Carmen's actually speaking on that again. So, you know, doing, doing something similar. If you missed our webinar from yesterday, um, join the Nutanix user group. 
and, uh, and you can hear him talk about using Foundation Central for you know, mass remote deployment of, uh, of HX clusters or of, of Nutanix clusters. Um, and I think Brian, there's also, you guys are doing a demo of uh, Nutanix clusters, right? Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, look, the only thing I was going to add there as well is that um, uh, although it comes up as Sydney chapter, we definitely uh, welcome anyone from from ANZ to join that as well. I think that was just a, a quirk of the um, of the micro site that um, that specified Sydney. So feel free to jump on there. Yeah, so I think we've got um, uh, I think about four or five uh, speakers that are that are going to be on uh, doing. Uh, during that session, so they probably cover some sim similar territory to what we're covering today in terms of the .next um, updates. But yeah, definitely, it's a bit more of an in-depth session. So, um, so yeah, please get along to that one as well if you can. Yeah, and 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 look, you know, we're we're not trying to compete. We're trying to augment, right? We're, we we want you guys to be across everything that's happening within the Nutanix world uh, as well as within our, within our world, right? So, um, you know, I think we'll probably be jumping into that as well. Um, and also just a reminder, so I'm not sure if, uh, if everyone noticed that uh, Nutanix um, uh, published a discount code for anyone that, uh, nice hat mate, um, for anyone that, uh, that signed up for .next. Uh, so if you're keen to do any of the NCP, NCM or S NCSE <laughs> exams, there is a discount code, which you can see there on the screen, um, and that allows you to actually take those exams uh, for free. So they're remote proctored. Um, if, you, if you're interested in, in skilling up and getting some certifications, um, you can use that code to, uh, to get some free exams. Um, all right, so I just want to let everyone know, we have, uh, Dan and I have been working with our services team uh, to create a uh, predefined um, uh, services skew around uh, doing HX cluster health checks. Uh, so um, this is now live and it's available. Um, if anyone who's running an HX cluster, uh, you know, wants, you know, wants for us to come in and have a look over it, um, do a bit of an assessment, you know, we, we do a data gathering assessment and then documentation around things like uh, firmware levels, uh, hypervisor, um, health, resiliency, performance, uh, all of that. Obviously, we've got a, a, a full scope of works so that we can share with you guys, um, but you know, we, we see data around things like the, what, what we get is our, our, our pulse report, which is the data from, uh, from our, you know, customers clusters. And, you know, there are a lot of customers that don't necessarily go and um, update to the latest AOSs, for example. Um, and so if, uh, you know, if, you know, your cluster or you know someone that might have a cluster that's in that kind of state, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're happy to engage around, a, around an HX health check. Um, and last thing from us is um, uh, just to let everyone know that a few days ago we announced uh, that we've now launched uh, Nutanix HX on AMD, right? So look, obviously you guys, you've got your existing clusters, they're built on Intel. Um, if you are looking at deploying uh, a new cluster, uh, AMD is now absolutely an option. Uh, look, it's going to play really well in the VDI space, uh, very high core counts, um, uh, and obviously it's, it's dual socket, right? So this is not the the old one socket AMD boxes. This is now a dual socket AMD box. Um, so a huge amount of cores that we can support. Um, and we can also support up to two uh, T4 uh, NVIDIA cards in a 1U um, uh, form factor as well. So uh, just a bit of an FYI there. All right, and that's about it from, from me. So uh, mate, Brian, I'll hand it over to you and we can, uh, we can have a chat around um, some of the updates from .next. Yeah, thanks, Charlie. Um... Yeah, so so I guess the uh, the idea behind this was really just to give a bit of a uh, a very high level overview of um uh, of what we announced at dot next. Um, we do have uh, all of the sessions, or ho first of all, hopefully a lot of you managed to get along to to dot next on the um, in the online forum and and see some of these yourselves. Uh, if you haven't, um, those uh, those sessions are available for replay uh, through to November. So so please do do get on. Um, I think we're going to share the link uh, towards the end. So, um, so that will be uh, something that you can jump on. Uh, I think I can see. We can uh, see your screen, Charlie. Just yeah. Second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've given, but, hey, Brian, I've given you control, mate. So, um, so you, can, uh, you can tap through. No. 
Oh, okay. Too easy. Thanks, Charlie. All right. So just wanted to, to reframe the discussion just about, um, you know, who, who Nutanix is and what we're doing. Uh, for, for those of you who've been a Nutanix customer for, for, you know, the last, you know, probably what, three years since, since we had um, HX appliances out in the market, you know, we've come a long way since then. So the kind of the, where we originally started off was in that, um, uh, that HCI or that digital HCI space um, uh, in the middle there. But since then, we've really uh, matured a lot as a platform and we've got a lot of, a lot of other uh, aspects and services that are available. So we, we've really just started to categorize these into, uh, into three different sections. So we've got um, the data center services, um, DevOps services, and also the desktop services, which is where we've, we've traditionally been, been very strong. Um, and all of these are, are powering a, a range of different applications across a range of clouds. So really where we began as a company in terms of, um, you know, our mission statement of making storage invisible, uh, you know, which we, which we did early on and, you know, hopefully all of you have been, been enjoying the benefits of that reduced management from the storage perspective, um, then going to making hypervisors invisible. And now what we're doing is making clouds invisible. And some of the announcements that we'll touch on today are going to, um, uh, you know, talk about how we do that and talk about how we can deliver the same um, experience that you're getting on-prem with your HX clusters into, uh, into public clouds where it makes sense for you to do that. Um, we go to the next one, Sorry. Charlie? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, hang on, <laughs> you're, you're dragging my mouse, hang on. Oh, am I? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Seamless, there we go. Seamless, yep, absolutely. All right. So, um, so, so broadly speaking, the uh, the announcements that we've uh, that we had last week at Dot Next fall into three categories, which is, um, you know, what we call run better, run faster, and run anywhere. Um, so we're just going to be double clicking on a few of them today and getting into the uh, getting into the announcements themselves. So, firstly, on the um, uh, on the run better side, so we've. We've launched Foundation Central, which enables you to have one-click provisioning and deployment of Nutanix clusters, um, but not just of a single site, but from a central location. So it's a game changer if your organization has multiple sites, and there might be tens of sites, it might be hundreds of sites, it might be thousands of sites um, and locations, and you can do all of that centrally with, uh, with Foundation Central. Um, one of the other major things that we've announced is um, uh, we're continuing to continuing to enhance uh, Prism. So what we're bringing there is a, a software as a service based application insights, um, which is going to give you targeted troubleshooting of application related infrastructure bottlenecks. So there's going to be oh there is announced now a new edition of um, uh, of Prism called Prism Ultimate. So for any for any people out there who are running um, Prism Central. Uh, either in Starter or in Prism Pro, there's now there are, have been enhancements to those versions, but there's also this additional version, which is um, which is Prism Ultimate, and I'll get into some of the um, uh, some of the features that we've announced there. But but broadly speaking, it's around um, uh, application visibility, features around budgeting and chargeback. Um, uh, to enable, you know, cost efficiency as a cost your enterprise. So if you're familiar with our um, uh, our Beam uh, product for for multi-cloud and on-prem uh, security and cost compliance, um, we're basically bringing that functionality into Prism Ultimate from a cost um, analytics perspective. Uh, if you want to go to the next one, there, Charlie. Yeah, sure. Have you um have you got control of it? No, I don't think I do. All right, yeah, so you want to get into that one? Yeah, so, so this is just um, getting into the, the, uh, the, the prism, um, I guess the different tiers or the different uh, uh, versions of, of prism central that we have. So, so starting, with, um, uh, starting with prism starter on the left hand side there. So, so that's going to give you all of your um, enterprise grade, um, you know, management and visibility your one-click upgrades, your LCM, um, large-scale management. So from there, we're going up to Prism Pro. So within Prism Pro, that's where you get your, um, your, your forecasting and capacity planning um, information, which is based on our, um, you know, the, the intelligence that we get from all of, our, all of our clusters globally phoning home 
we can basically build machine learning into that and um, uh, and analyze your specific environment. So, so if, the, if you have uh, any VMs in your environment that aren't performing well, like they might be over provisioned um, and, you know, wasting resources, they might be underperforming because they don't have enough resources. So we can automatically detect that and, um, uh, and remediate that. So, um, you know, uh, right size the, the virtual machines, we can identify bully VMs and constrained VMs and, and all those sorts of things. So that's, going to slot into the into the prism pro um, uh, in this licensing tier and then the the new one that we're that we've announced so it's so a prism ultimate so what that's going to give you is application visibility so this is a completely um, completely agent free so the way that we do that is we we listen to the the IP traffic that's that's floating around um, in the data center and we can identify what applications are going on and ha give you visibility um, into that and allow you to um, uh, to run the environment accordingly. Um, the other thing, as I mentioned, is we've got the cost metering and chargeback, um, as well as well as a, a specific um, uh, SQL um, uh, application visibility as well. Okay. Do you want to go to the next one there, Charlie? Yeah. So, in terms of um, simplifying the day two operations. So, so there's a couple of, so there's basically two different aspects to this. So we have uh, Nutanix Insights. So Nutanix Insights is something that we've announced um, fairly recently. And um, it basically gives you the power of the cloud to perform, um, you know, predictive health analytics and provides, um, provides optimized recommendations. Um, with this, what we're seeing is that we've reduced the amount of, or the number of support cases and what what this is is it it's it's the same uh, the same um, portal or the same tool that our internal uh, support guys use guys and girls use, and from a um, from perspective, you're basically getting an insight um, into that. So you can see what they see. Um, you you know exactly what is happening in, in the environment. So it gives you a lot of visibility into um, into what's going on there. Um, the other the other one to talk about is uh, is LCM. So so for, presumably most of you are familiar with LCM. So LCM has um, you know has come along leaps and bounds over the last couple of years. So what we're doing with LCM is we're upgrading the, the whole stack and we're doing it globally. So we're doing um, both software and firmware. Um, you know we don't have multiple tools for multiple different things. Basically everything is being moved into um, into LCM. Do you want to go to the next one then, Charlie? So, so we've, in, we've announced um, Nutanix Central. So there's a, and you know, I'd encourage you to, um, uh, to have a look at the breakout session for this and it runs through a, a demonstration. There's just a couple of, sc of screen um, captures that we've got here, but, but what it gives you the ability to do is to manage all of your, your clusters um, globally wherever they may be so whether that's in your um, in your on-prem data centers in multiple clouds that you might have around the place you know AWS Azure GCP and you can you can have visibility of that and manage that centrally so one of the things that you can get just on this this splash screen that's shown here is um, uh, the uh, the radius of those little um, uh, those locations there indicate the uh, the number of virtual machines that's running in that environment. So it just gives you a bit of a visual representation of what's going on within the environment at the at the very um, uh, at the very high level. If you just click build that slide out for me there, Charlie, mm -hmm. um, then you can see here that we have, as I was saying, not just um, not just our core software, but we're actually going to be building into this the entire stack. So really really the goal and you know all the different facets of the software that we have so really the goals here is to keep things um, you know as you know simple seamless and as secure as possible um, this is this is a uh, uh, I guess a tech preview of something that we're announcing at the moment so this is going to be um, available for you know what we call tech preview where it's not officially GA but you can um, you can download and have a tinker with it probably towards the end of this year. Um, and we're moving towards uh, GA um, 
probably in the, in the first half of 2021. So that there's, there's going to be a couple of access aspects to this. It's going to be a, um, uh, a software as a service. So this will be running in the, uh, as, as a SaaS application in phase two, in phase one, we'll be running, you'll be running on prem. So there's a bit of, um, uh, you know, a few things to look forward to around that. Yeah. I was going to say, I think if, if I just go back here, um, you know, that, that cost modeling there, you can see down on the right hand side, the, the, the cost trend, um, the ability to do cost modeling integration with beam between on-premise and cloud. Um, you know, I can certainly think of a few customers and a few scenarios who are, you know, expanding their capabilities globally and not only are they going to be on-prem, but they're going to be in the cloud. The ability to have that, that visibility is, is going to be quite key. So, yeah, exciting. Looking forward to that. I was just going to say quickly, so you've got Prism Central, Foundation Central, now the Tank Central. Are you going to have like an like a overarching one, like Central Central or something? I think that's Nutanix Central, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, Central Central. That's a trademark that one before it's too late, right? Um, so just to, to uh, this this slide we've got here is is probably the most um, uh, the most technically hardcore slide that that we're going to get to today. Um, so we're just talking about the the performance enhancements um, that we've brought in, and this is this is as of five point eighteen, which um, uh, which we dropped, uh, I think, about three or four weeks ago. So some of you may have already um, started to have a, a tinker with that one. But um, but what we what we're doing with uh, with the block store, block store and the SPDK, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, what this gives you, gives us the ability to do is to address the storage directly without having to go um, uh, to go through the to go through the kernel. So basically, this gives us a, a fairly significant performance improvement. We've um, we've published some numbers um, through ESG. If you if you if you're interested in having a look at what that um, at how that uh, how that sits, uh, it's well worth a read, and you can you can check that out. But effectively, um, what we do is we've uh, we've updated how the the Stargate process works. So so Stargate is how we manage um, addressing our our storage. Um, so we've brought uh, block store into inside of Stargate and basically handles the the storage I/O to these very high speed and very high uh, very low latency uh, storage media, um, such as the uh, the NVMe based SSDs and Intel Optane um, SSDs as well, and so that's given us a, a, a significant performance boost by up to fifty percent for um, for I/O intensive workloads. Um, you know, large data large databases, SAP HANA, uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, uh, so just on that. So, from a from a Lenovo perspective, uh, we will be supporting Optane in the next couple of months. Uh, as most of you will be aware, Optane can come in the form of uh, either a very low latency, uh, you know, persistent storage in like a U2 drive, uh, or um, it can be a persistent memory module, right? Which which uh, plugs into a DIMM slot, and you can allocate the capacity to either being RAM or uh, or persistent storage. Um, that is the version of Optane we will be supporting within HX, right? So we're going to be supporting um, HX, uh, HX as um, or Optane as a persistent memory module within a DIM. So keep an eye out. We'll uh, we'll have that about available in the next couple of months. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks for that, Charlie. Um, so so moving on to to the what we're calling um, KPS or the carbon sorry, the carbon platform services. So this is about our, um, uh, our offering with, uh, you know, with cloud native, you know, operating system for the cloud, uh, Kubernetes. So one of the reasons that we're seeing a lot of uh, uptake and a lot of organizations are looking at Kubernetes is, you know, to get the, the speed and agility of DevOps, um, you know, to do non-disruptive non live updates, uh, to be able to have, you know, elastic scalability, um, app portability across environments, um, but some of the some of the challenges that people have had with with um, uh, with Kubernetes deployments is that it's you know it's it's super easy to use and it's super simple and super fast once you've got it up and running. But actually getting it up and running um, can be deceptively difficult to to both install and to manage and to keep that going. So so the benefit that we bring by by basically taking Kubernetes and giving you Kubernetes as a service or Kubernetes as a, as a um, uh, at the press of a button 
is that we've we've simplified the entire the entire thing. So that part that was previously quite difficult, we've now made quite easy. So we've had that with carbon for um, uh, for I want to say around the last 12, 12 months around there. Um, what we've announced just last week is the, the the KPS. So this is giving you the the ability to not only do that um, on prem on your Nutanix cluster, but also to extend that to to basically to the to the cloud of your choice. So if you want to deploy a you know have a, a one click deployment of Kubernetes in Azure, in AWS and GCP, um, then then we can do that through the uh, through KPS. It really bridges any clouds. Um, so on the on the cloud topic, so so like I was saying earlier, um, you know our our mission statement has been to to make storage invisible, to make hypervisors invisible, and to make clouds invisible. You know some of the some of the challenges that pe people have have faced with um, you know having a living in a hybrid world with different cloud environments is you know you're dealing with things like you know, solid management, you've got to deal with complex networking. So the way that you do networking in one cloud is different than the way you do it in another. Um, you've got different skill sets that you need to manage things. So, so what we're doing by enabling you to run Nutanix on the, on the cloud of your choice, gives you that consistent user experience, a consistent administration experience. So you don't have to go and learn a new skill set in order to, to take advantage of some of the um, some of the benefits of cloud, you know, some of the some of the use cases that we're that we're seeing um, uh, driving the public cloud adoption, you know, has been all around. Um, you know, a lot of the time, organisations are just being made to do it. So, you know, the CIOs have have a target of having you know fifty percent of their um, uh, other applications running in the cloud. Then it's a basic, you know, the easiest way to do that is to lift and shift. Um, or we can, you know, other use cases are around just needing the elasticity or, or needing to have a, a different geographic um, footprint. So for, for BC and DR um, or, or otherwise just workloads that need to be extremely scalable, like, um, like VDI or IO intensive um, applications that you might just need at certain points of time. So what we've announced just last week, we've had, um, uh, we've had uh, clusters on, on AWS uh, for a while now, uh, what we've just announced last week is that we're going to be doing that with uh, with Azure as well. Um, and as you can see, the, that's uh, that's currently in development today. But that'll be um, be coming to a region um, near you quite soon. Um, so just a just a summary slide here. Um, you know, run better, run faster, run anywhere. Um, if you want to just go straight to the next one, Charlie. Um, We've just highlighted here the, 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 the topics that we've touched on today. Um, I won't claim to have done much more than just touch on them. Uh, all of these are available. We have, you know, multiple breakouts, usually around between, you know, 20 minutes up to, you know, 60 plus minutes. So quite a, quite a deep dive. You can look at a, a technical session. You can look at demos. You can do all those sorts of things. Um, uh, it's www.NutanixNext2020.com. I'm sure we'll share that out after the session as well. So um, hopefully most of you have registered, but if not, you can, you can jump on there and catch some of the replays of those as well. Yeah. Um, just wanted to touch on this as well. So I mentioned earlier, so, so 5.18 5 um, uh, dropped last month. Uh, there's a number of, uh, a lot of quality of life kind of enhancements like you right click on the, um, like right click menus, um, the V disk recycling bin. Um, and of course, some of the uh, some of the performance um, enhancements that I that I talked about earlier. Um, just to just to round things out, so there's a few a few offers that we that we made. I think I think Charlie kind of touched on the the free exams um, earlier, but uh, a couple of other things to bear in mind is we offer a 60 day free trial if you want to have a have a, a try of clusters and see how all that works. Um, the same with Beam. So, so once again, Beam's our, uh, our way to optimize um, hybrid cloud um, cost and compliance. Um, from what I was understanding, we're, we're also offering um, a free trial of Prism Ultimate as well, which I believe is 60 days off the top of my head, but I can confirm that. So, 
if if that's if some of those features that I was mentioning earlier are something that's of interest and you'd like to try that out, um, you know, please get in touch with myself or or, or Charlie or the other um, you know Lenovo team, and we can we can definitely tee that up for you. Um, the other one to to just mention here is test drive. So test drive is really easy, really simple to use. You can just go to the website, um, put in your email address, and within um, within two or three minutes, you're you're, you're logged into a Prism environment that you can have a tinker with. Um, so particularly if you've got features that you you might want to, um, you know, you might not be licensed for or you might not have deployed yet and you just want to see how they work, um, like files, for example, if you're thinking about, you know, running Nutanix files to, to, get, rid of, um, to get rid of any NAS silos that you have around the place, um, you know, test drive is a great way to, to dip your toe in the water that way. Uh, with, with that, Brian, if, if someone wanted some help, um, like I guess with a run through with that, that's that stuff that they can reach out to, to you and Charlie with, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's um, uh, it, it's kind of self guided. Follow the bouncing ball to a certain point, um, but yeah, more than happy to um to set up a session. Um, yeah, I mean we can we can do individual session if if someone just wants um someone to stand by or. Um, or, you know, if there's a lot of people that want to do it, more than happy to, to do it as a team thing as well. Yeah, cool. Nice one. Hey, look, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, we, yeah, we've been having, we, we've really just kind of touched on some of those new enhancements. Um, I think we're having discussions around doing some, uh, some more in-depth training. So kind of watch this space, uh, you know, we'll, we'll reach out. Uh, but uh, let's not hold you, uh, hold, hold us up any longer. Uh, to having a drink. So uh, we'll throw it over to OCD. Um, so I think Claire is well, Charlie, yeah. you, mate, you, you sound like you're in a bucket. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, my over. that's a bit better. But we've, yeah, we do have Claire out, out of the distilling. She'll, she'll take us through. Hopefully everyone's got their drinks there. What I wouldn't mind asking, right, this is supposed to be a bit of a community social thing is for the guys who don't have, don't have their cameras on and uh, addressed. Maybe turn your camera off a little bit um, and we'll, we'll go through and Claire will take us through... Uh, through um, hey, hey, Brian Thomas there. <laughs> hey, I'll hey. say dis I'll disappear. <laughs> at this point. Uh, good. Okay, Claire, you you ready to go? Can you can you stop sharing? Um, yeah. Right. Off we go. So you can pin see Claire down there. You can pin pin her and make her full view. Okay. Oh. Ready to get some ice? I'll be back. Can everybody uh, yell? Number one rule is always bring in some ice. Frozen water, that is. You're, you're going to have to yell. You're a bit, you're a bit silent too. Are we too far? Are we too... Frozen water. Frozen water. Get some frozen water. Get some frozen water. Camera's on. Camera's on. I want to see your lovely faces. Right. So what, so what you're saying is everyone should go get their ice now? Yes, please. Camera's on. Nice. You can just unmute yourself at any given time. You know, this is... Alright, so have a chat as well. Come on, Nathan Bish, Daniel Wilkins, Cameron Ramley, Levin, Tracy, Daniel Morris, number two. No, that's he's gone. Yeah, that's a fantastic. He's gone to get off. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Right, we're on. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Is everyone on and ready? Everyone checking high? Mm. Everyone hear us as well? Yes, no? Mm. Yes? Very Can quiet. Everyone hear us? That's yes. Better. yes? Yes. Can you hear me, Daniel? Thumbs up if you can hear Just. me. Just. Just. Yep. Just. You were here last time, so let's bring it in. There we go. How's that? Everyone hear me now? Yep. That's what better. Because if, if everyone talks at once, it goes. Hur, hur, hur. <laughs> I love this angle.